everybody. This is One Day with Us. And today we're going to present you our suite of he's 13 years old and he's with us since August 19. We're still getting to know him, so every day we learn a bit more about his preferences and character. And today we're going to show you his jumping training. Hope you all enjoy. Now he's warm, he's ready to start to do zero jumps. Like I said, I'm going to start jump a bit slowly and uh, really thinking about the straightness but just about the cavalets. Uh, here is two cavalets and they are 11 meters between both uh, and I will start to do in three strides and then collect in four just to make him sit a bit and prepare him to, to the other exercise. Even these little fences, even if it's just the beginning, I always try to repeat the right thing so I always try to move far in the corners because when it's small sometimes we start to over collect from the corner and also I always think about the straightness during the, the line and also after. So since the beginning we are showing to the horse where is the good direction to go. He's almost red the first time he dropped a bit to the left but now he's really straight. Uh, you do one time five strides that's really extreme just to make sure he's really ready to sit on the box and then we go outside. Now I'm going to do a, a little exercise that I like to do. Uh, even in the warm-up we're going to turn in the rollbacks. I'm going to start doing a bit easier but in the end I'm going to try to do tighter and tighter turns. So it's two verticals there, one 90 degrees from the other and we try to make the same number of strides every time we do for right and left. Like you just saw, in the beginning I was doing a bit opening the turns just to don't make him too surprised. In the beginning he was a bit lost, but then in the end he was just learning and learning and learning and in the end he was doing eight strides every time for both sides. And in the beginning for the left he was losing the behind and in the end it was just as has to be. So even not competing, he is practicing a bit uh, this kind of rollback that we have a lot in the jump box or in the spin class. After this, then we do train a little bit more schooling as normal. So I have here uh, four different lines that I like a lot to train in that uh, is a little simulation for a course. So now we're gonna do with small fences, just quieter with one more stride everywhere, just to make him round and, and, and quieter. And then we're gonna jump a bit bigger to, to finish. Now he did really, the first time straight away, he did really relaxed and really well, all what I asked. Um, that was with one more stride almost everywhere. What I pay attention when I do trainings like this, in front of the fence, during the lines, I am doing the schooling and try to really educate the horse to learn to wait when we need. But during the corners, I try to move forward. In these days, the time faults happen so easy. And uh, it's a question of training from the rider and the horse to move during the corners and between the fence. So if you look, every time I do this rollback, I'm doing 10 strides, that is quite quick, even to a schooling or even to the reality. So that's the idea, to keep the horse relaxed, but always think to turn and to go far between the fences. Thank you for watching one day with us knowing all fun if you want to see more join us by facebook and instagram have a nice easter a great week and see you next sunday knowing the mayor ebel see ya